Hi, we're Taipei Explorer. I'm Coco. I'm Chaya. Welcome to our channel. We are now in Dihua Street. Let's go and see what's inside. We're standing on a street from 19th century. Through a fair with traditional shops and bustling markets in the past, it was built in the 1850. It was the major trading center for multiple sorts of tradi traditional goods, such as Chinese herbs, medicines, dried goods, fabrics, and tea. influenced infrastructure by the style of the previous Qing Dynasty, Dutch Formosa and the Japanese rule. The architect architecture has been under preservation and conservation efforts by the city. Nowadays, thousands of shops have existed over centuries passed down through generations in Dihua Street, which is still operational today. Dihua Street has become the most distinctive sightseeing spot in Taipei. It's not only famous for its New Year shopping, but also because of the architecture of Dihua Street. Dihua Street is an old street that heavily influenced by heavily influenced by many cultures. In total, there are three main generations buildings left over today on Dihua Street. Not far from the entrance of Dihua Street, there is a three-story segment of buildings with a baroque style, which attracts the attention of passersby. A design that was heavily influenced by Japanese architectural design was the Asian Baroque building, also known as the second generation building on Dihua Street. It used to be various shops with different owners, and it can be told by the previous logo signs outside of the building. Now it is currently a bookstore called Bookstore 1920. The books display in the bookstore are themed on Taiwan's culture movement, which includes history, literature, and philosophy. The second location is next to Yongle Market, which is a temple called Taipei Xiahai Chen Huang Miao. This temple was built in 1856 during the sixth year of the Qing Dynasty. According to the Taiwanese Tourism Bureau, over 6,000 couples came with a tribute to return the match makes favor each year. Nowadays, Young adults come to this temple to pray for a successful love life and wealth. Also, on May 13th, there will be an anniversary for the gods, a celebration hosted by the Taipei city government. During the Japanese colonization, the Japanese influenced the residents to adopt Buddhism, which impact today's Dadao trend to contribute heavily to Buddhism, with countless temples established around the district as well as small stalls selling a mullet holders and lucky charms.
One notable landmark in Dipa Street is Da Dao Chen Theater. It's on the 8th floor and 9th floor in Yongle Market. Before the building, it was just a garden. It was constructed in 1908 during the Japanese occupation. The theater made Da Dao Chen Taipei's original art district, which is famed for its dozen of theaters as well as street performers. As a result, it formed the center of the Taiwan cultural movement in the 1920s. The Dao Chen Theater has preserved its history, and tourists often come to see different shows. It's an excellent spot for watching traditional shows. Also, Da Dao Chen Theater is a great revenue for performance. For Emotional events and the preservation of classic operas. Dipa Street is known for its traditional shop and focusing on a specific product to sell for years. In our last destination, it's beside the Taipei Xiaoyu Cheng Huang Miao. Modern souvenir shop with many, with many small business held together to become an art yard. Something to note down is their interior design which are influenced by the first generation but it has been renovated. It's a century old with a three entry shop house and like a small community. They focus on traditional and local handcrafts such as teapots, wooden utensils, and more. They are known for their folk arts and traditional crafts designed by cultural and creative artists. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoy watching our first episode of The Hot Street. If you are interested in this type of content, you can watch our second episode. We will continue exploring outside of the depot street. Bye-bye. Okay.